you're here with the piano right now. You can see the piano's gonna go there. You can see them coming with it. I should be grateful but look at this piece it just came you know this I used to not even be able to pull this up and look at this one I just about pull it all the way out and maybe that'll happen with the rest of them you know uh, maybe, yeah see they're getting the, the the temperatures warmed up a bit so I think it's causing them to anyway I I'm done moving I only have a few things left at the house so there's a coffee maker, I got all the kitchen stuff, boxes, and this is how I decided to set the living room. This is kind of a first draft. I like it like this. Uh, oh, the TV sets down on the ground. I gotta put it up here. And the only thing, I, I, it just follows me around in my life, this round chair. I can never seem to know where to put it. So it's sitting here right now. I don't know where to put it. Uh, I guess I could move the couch over further that way and then put it here. That might be one thing. It's just I like that the fact that you can walk around the couch. You know, like somebody's coming here, going to the, the dining room, they can come here. They don't have to go all the way around. Uh, I also like the positioning in front of the TV set. If I If I moved this over here... I'd have to move the TV set there, and to me, I like, I don't want it closer to the piano. That, that to me, is already close enough, so that's, that's what I'm working with now. So, I still have a lot of unpacking to do. Uh, I haven't eaten all day. The movers came, and it took them about three hours, but, you know, over the last several months, I had been moving things. So, I got a game plan here I'm pretty happy with. There's my desk. There's the rack with some stuff there's a shelf that used to be in the garage or in the storage and now I've got my regular shelf with my business machines and, and then the, the shredder and that I used to always keep that drawer under the desk and now I'm going to put it over there so uh, uh, they these speaker stands that I made years ago back at 91 92 well movers broke the other one so they tried to fix it for me, and they said they're gonna come back and, you know, there's a part that broke in half, and they said they're gonna fix it, but I'm not gonna count on that. So, you can see the the round base there, that the other one broke in half. It's in the garage right now. I can maybe get a picture of that later. Okay, so there's, there's that. This, this room is still, I'm just using it as a storage for now. This room, it's great to have the space. I can just throw everything in here. So it'll get organized. I have to just figure out where, where I want things. You know, what's nice about this is there's so much space to kind of spread out. So, okay, so here's the master bedroom. I decided to put the bed that way. I still have to install the headboard. I forgot to ask them to do that. I can, I can do that myself. They probably didn't because I had disassembled it myself knowing that the last time I moved they, they really screwed it up so and this closet is looking a lot bigger I mean it's look at this it's, there's not even you know, all this extra space I got the hamper down there so but I can still move you know a lot of things over here you know I, I just for some reason I had the impression that it wasn't all that big and so you know I've got pretty much all the clothes I normally wear and my shoes here these are all of them, so I got these organizers. That probably helps, you know, getting them off the floor. Uh, into the master bath. I haven't. Uh, it's about the way it was. There's my shampoo, and then I, I don't use soap anymore because it always makes a mess. I, I use this stuff. It's great. Just in a, you know, why use a bar of soap? Who needs it? Just that stuff is great. It's nice and neat. Okay, what else can I show you? How so the garage is looking right now. So, oh, there's there's the, uh, the one they broke. So it busted in half. They tried to glue it. 
they said they were going to go to Home Depot and get and find a, a round this round piece again. And I made this back in the early 90s, and then the top part broke, and then they did their best to fix that. You know, they so hopefully this will work. They glued it. I don't know. I haven't tested it yet. I'm gonna let it sit for a while. Maybe looks like it's probably kind of loose. Okay, and then uh, I keep trying to give this bike away. There's, there's a kid at the apartment, and I said he could have it, and he rode it and said, no, I don't want it. Can you imagine that? I was going to give him this bike, and he said, this kid may be about seven years old. And I said, why don't you want it? He well, I can't pop a, you can't lift up the front end and ride. It's a different kind of bike, so. So this is, uh, this all needs to be organized. And these are the, the two, the, like this shelf here. These are the two, I got two more here. And these boxes, I can't even lift them. I mean, they're, each box probably weighs 75 pounds. I cannot pick them up. Uh, cat supplies in here, I think. And then these are just empty boxes that I, keep around for the speakers I can't break them down because they have foam on the bottom so I can't break them down uh, I'm still waiting for something to happen with the, the board harassing me but they haven't yet so and, and this room I think I've showed this before what's on, interesting about this room there's it's it's so cool today's a, it's over 80 today and this room is there's no air conditioning I don't know why why it's so cool in here it stays so cool you know, so this is all has to be organized. I wish I could own 20, you know, 75. I wish I could own 25% of the stuff I have. If there's any way to do it. So what I'm, I'm experimenting with this move is I'm not going to take everything out of the boxes. I'm going to only take things out that I really use. The rest of them I'm going to keep. I'm going to put them away and keep them in boxes and maybe little by little get rid of them. I have a couple keyboards back here that are vintage that the only reason I keep them is for each one there's maybe two or three sounds that I can't find anywhere else. But look, look at the price I have to pay. I got to keep these here. You know? So is it worth it? I don't know. There's a spe this speaker here. I use maybe twice. And it, it, uh, what's nice about it, this is a carbon and it, it runs on batteries. So but I didn't buy it for that. I got it so because I thought it was powerful, and I took it to a couple of loud gigs, and it just couldn't couldn't hold its own. So so I tried to sell it, couldn't sell it. Uh, so I guess I'll hang on to it. You know, and circular saw here. I don't know. I would probably never use that. Um, and uh, okay, here's the patio. I did I did some sweeping. Because there were there were leaves caught in here, you know it looked like it looked like it hadn't you know hadn't been swept in a while. But uh, it, you know there was a, just a few amount of leaves. I, I, see back here you can see I haven't, but in the corners there was like this, and I, I would think that this is very easy to maintain. I just think that it hadn't been swept in a long time. So so you'll notice here there's a drain. You know I guess the water goes through there, and there's this little screen, and I noticed this was filled up with leaves and I got rid of them and I'm, there's another drain over here so it'd be nice to get a, a screen right here in that spot I don't know this looks custom made so I gotta figure out how to how to do that you can see the windows from the outside it sounds, it sounds like plexiglass yeah because it is like plexiglass so I love these A, just a general status update I have uh, this is my second night here I already spent one night here and uh, just gonna give a little tour of how everything looks now this was one of the hardest moves I think I've ever been through maybe I don't know why maybe the one going to Rancho was harder I don't know but uh, uh, I just feel so worn out and tired I don't see what I can do to make things easier you know, I still think I have too much stuff for one person. So here's all the stuff in the garage I got to go through and put away. Let's 
see. Check this room out. Okay, this going back in this room is there's even more stuff in here now. I have to go through all this. I don't even know how I fit this in my apartment. You know, I, I very uh, overwhelming to me. I, I I can't stand this. This makes me unhappy. On the other side, not much over here. Okay, we're in the house now. So there's the kitchen. I uh, the refrigerator is working great, but I, I was seeing a. Uh, some water down there yesterday, and I don't know what it was from. Maybe, you know, it stopped. So maybe it's fine. I got the dishwasher running. I'm still waiting for these blinds. Uh, so there's no privacy here. Just kind of waiting for those. Stove works. This morning, I got ready to make coffee, and, and I had no filters. And I, I just about had a panic attack, and I realized that I had left a couple things at the apartment. So I walked to the... There's a Stater Brothers about a block away, so I walked over there. And then I got the filters that are too big, but it still worked. And this is uh, just a bunch of empty boxes, mostly. There's some dish uh, kitchenware that's still put away that I don't need, but this is mostly empty boxes. And um, I've decided, because this moving is so hard, that, I, that I'm going to keep some things packed away that I never use or hardly ever use. You know, so... So just right now, just trying to figure out how I want to set things up. This is, you see, this laminate is already almost totally off on its own, and this one I'm just, I'm just using. It's still sticky, dirty, but I'm just using it. And uh, this is kind of empty, but there's no laminate here, so I can start putting spices and uh, my spice rack in there. And um, anyway, this is a great pantry too. I started putting some things in here. And uh, here's, uh, here's the living room. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, the way it's set up. Uh, the only downside is the the sun, the, the, the you know, the that's the, that's the west, and that the sun comes down, and it kind of, you know, if you're watching TV in the afternoon, it's not not great. But if you can close these all the way, and it does a good job of blocking the light. And then as I got piano there you know and the couch is here I still don't know what to do with that round chair I'm just leaving it there for now okay so now I got my office pretty much set up I got it set up pretty quickly you know I still have a few more things to set up but it's functional now so I've got to you know I've got my these machines are working I have this uh, USB cable. I need to get a longer one because it's at the apartment. This was plenty long, but I need to get one that'll go around this way. And okay, so that's this is this is working out good. Um, this room, I I've been just throwing things in here. So I need to go through all. It's gonna. I, it's gonna take me months to get through all this stuff. Figure out what I want to do here, and then this is pretty much filled. That's the linen closet, towels, and stuff. There's a little space on the bottom there. There's a bedroom here. Got everything. These need to be, this is all music. These needs to be put away somewhere. Uh, a lot of these hangers I found here in the house. Uh, that shoe rack I may get rid of. I don't really like it. Um, it's I'm using, you know, cable ties to hold it together right now. Cause it doesn't. And so, it's probably, I wish there was a light in here. This is dark. I mean, I miss my walk-in closet. It's, this is kind of a drag, but if I get a light, up there with a the switch that would be great for this I think so I decided to put that chest of drawers right there and uh, let's see these 
are really good. There's a lot of space. Um, a lot of empty space here. So. I think that's pretty much it. There's a couple boxes here. Those are filled with some gear that I should sell, probably. So. Okay.